A very warm welcome. You're watching the 1 p.m. newscast with me, Akanksha Swaroop on CNN News 18. Uh, we dive into this news segment with some breaking inputs coming in. The Enforcement Directorate has frozen rupees 46.67 crore worth funds kept in payment gateways, ease bus, raise the pay, cash free, and even Paytm after recent raids in the Chinese loan app case. This is the latest we are bringing to you. The Enforcement Directorate is cracking down heavily on the Chinese loan app case. For more details, I'm joined in by Ashish Maharishi, who tracks the Enforcement Directorate for us. Uh, Ashish, uh, on September 14th, there were some very crucial searches conducted by the ED, and today this big crackdown has come. What else can you tell us about it? So it seems to me it's, this problem is now, now becoming a pan-India problem. You remember earlier this problem was basically in south of India, majorly in, in Telangana, Hyderabad and various other locations, Bangalore, in Karnataka. But it seems to be that it has become a pan-India problem now because this problem that we are talking about, this is related to Kohima Nagaland. Now there was an FIR that was registered after uh, you know a company named HPZ Coins. Uh, now this this company was uh, basically uh, you know giving uh, fake promises. This is called HPZ token. I beg your pardon. It's mm. called. HBZ token where money was the promise was being given that your money will be doubled if you invest into this company and this was basically for mining or you can say bitcoins uh, mining of bitcoins so ultimately it was found that you know to win over confidence of the customers first some portion of the money was written and later on this website or this this app HPZ token became inaccessible and since then uh, you know the uh, nobody has been able to track down where the owners of this HPZ token are. But finally, you know, if you go through the, the note that has been shared by the enforcement directorate, it, talk, it talks about certain companies which were operating this, this token or you can say this, this app. It was named Lillian Technofab and Singo Technology. Now, if you see, uh, this is basically, you know, there are various entities which were operating this. And finally, if you see, uh, they said that, you know, there is some relationship with Jillian Consultancy as well. If you remember a few, a few days back, in fact, even the Ministry of Corporate Affairs and the SFIU arrested one of the owners of uh, Jillian Consultants who was basically running out of India and he was nabbed near, near Gaya. Uh, mm. uh, there are Chinese individuals who have already escaped out of India. So it seems to be that the Chinese have penetrated into the Indian market aggregators like paytm cash free they have exactly. been they have been misused by them because it is not their money the money has been parked only you know they're only the platform but ultimately they have ultimately been misused by these chinese entities and uh, you know we have already seen that once the money came to aggregators like paytm cash free or razor pay then right. it went to certain uh, cryptocurrency exchanges and then nobody knows from from there where the money has gone because all you get is a 16 digit number so so tracking them down, it has become very difficult for the enforcement directorate, but it's certainly becoming a big problem because we are seeing a big case from the northeast of India now. Having said that, Ashish, I, I know, uh, as rightly pointed out by you, that you know these, uh, uh, whether it is cash-free, Paytm, uh, or you know, e e even if we talk about Razorpay, these were only playing the role of the payment gateways. Having said that, we can't deny the fact that the uh, merchant IDs and the accounts were with these payment gateways. So, how far will these payment gateways be probed? So the payment gateways basically, the maximum what they can do is they can do a KYC. Right. So they are they are like uh, you know the banks because they are only they can maximum do is KYC. But more importantly, the role lies with the Ministry of Corporate Affairs in case misuse is happening, in case fake directors are being uh, are being uh, uh, you know planted in certain companies. There are fake companies which are being planted into India, and then the ultimately the money goes through from. Uh, crypto exchange cryptocurrency exchanges till till they till they have payment till the pay, uh, you know the uh, the level of payment gateway you can have kyc but uh, since uh, you know cryptocurrency exchanges they still there is
such and they don't maintain any KYC, right. then you ultimately don't know who the final beneficiary is. So at least till the exchange, uh, or you can say this, uh, you know, pay, like Paytm, uh, PayU, Cash Free, we can, you know, these companies can at least do the KYC. But beyond that, nothing can be done. Even for the for the opening of the bank account or of the opening of the company, maximum what you can do is that they, a KYC can be done. But right. if illegal transactions are being happening, if dummy directors are being put, that basically responsibility lies with the Ministry of Corporate Affairs. Absolutely. Many thanks to you, Ashish Maharishi, for putting that story into perspective.